<clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Cameron and welcome back to the Fallout 4 survival mode-ish modded let's play. And as you can see, we are currently not... No, I'm not. Oh wait, yeah, I am. Um... No, I'm not. <laughs> we are currently... <laughs> Uh, on my original playthrough of this game on James Steele, um, who's who's looking all nice and ugly. Uh, uh, because we are going to go, as you can see, I have a shit ton of stuff to do. I'm not in the mood. Mechanical Menace, what? Oh, I haven't done that one on this? Oh, okay then. Um, so as you can see, first off, my map is fucking full of shit. But we are going to Spectacle Island because Spectacle Island on this playthrough is my main base. It has always been my main base on this playthrough, actually. Um, as soon as I got it, I started wanting it to be my main base. And it's, whew, it's taken a long time to move a lot of shit there, but I've done it. And all of my supply lines are mapped out. They all go around the place and so everything's connected so I don't have to worry about not having enough supplies there but the reason the reason we are on here right now is because we're gonna go from where I'm currently at uh, which I was currently at uh, start driving we're gonna go here because this is in fact my power armor my, my power armor slide that's where my game transfers me to automatically every time I hop on this game so so we have, we also have Adam, Adam Cats, uh, BOS. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be figuring out all the rest of these that we need. Uh, I believe, I believe there's an institute. Okay, Nuka. Yep. That's right. Overboss. That's right. We have Overboss. I forgot about that. If I can color that at all differently, I will. Uh, yep, Quantum XO1s, yep. I don't think there's a different version for the Sharks. I think that's the only thing you can do with that one. Keep. I have a lot of power armor stuff on this, if you guys haven't noticed. Uh, okay, 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 come on, come on, keep going. Fucking A. Okay, there we go. So we went all the way through that. I don't know if there's institutes. In sec. Uh, Fallout for institute. Power armor. I believe. I believe this is a creation club thing. Um, we're gonna we're gonna quit. Yep. Um, I believe this is a creation club one. Um. No, no, never mind. It is obtained upon que completing the quest Nuclear Family. Give my father Institute Paint Mod for X01 Power Armor Father's Lab Coat. Previous quest Airship Down or End of the Line if the Proven was destroyed and Rockets were to glare. Uh, it is the final Institute main quest and an achievement slash trophy in Fallout 4. Oh, fuck. Okay, um... Huh. Shit. With the addition of the Hellfire Power Armor Creation Club content, it can also be added to the Hellfire Power Armor. Shit. Okay, um... Hmm. I believe there's also one for the railroad. And this is for, I believe, also finishing the game. You have to finish it with them. It's obtained after completing Tradecraft, which I believe is the final mission in there. I believe Tradecraft is the final mission for the, uh, the railroad. Is it? Wait, is it? No. Wait a minute. Have we done trade? We might... I might be an idiot, guys. Reactivate all my mods. This is the one thing with switching my things that takes so long.
is having to actually enable all my mods again. And I think that should be all of them. I just want to make sure. Yep, okay. Um, hmm, okay. Okay, so this is the first trade. This is the first mission. So this is the early one. All right, so that's good. That means that the railroad paint can come out very, very fast. So we can put railroad down there too. And institute. Uh, institute. Um, okay. So now we got to make sure, can we get the... Brotherhood of Steel. How do we get that one now? Uh, so I'm going to assume that there's not a creation club thing for any of these. Uh, okay. Um, miss really quick. Apparel, armor paint job, Adam Cats, Brother of Steel, Gunners, Hot Red Pink. Um, it'd be skins, wouldn't it? Because that's where the power armor things are at, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so we want to go find the power armor. Power. Okay, so there's Chrome. Is Chrome really the only other one we don't... Is Chrome seriously... We'll put Chrome down, because we will eventually get it. Um... Okay, it looks like this one's just randomly... Uh, the Brotherhood of Steel paint is completely different. It's just one that we get occasionally and uh, through just normal. So, that's good. We we only really need to buy one more... <laughs> one more uh, thing of, of skins for this. And then we're good. Alright, let's reload Noah Jackson modded. Um, head on in, yep. All right, so that's good. So we have desert camo, white, onyx, horse, uh, which is uh, colored cyan, military, minutemen, swamp camo, aqua camo, nuka cola, nuka cola quantum, vault tech, sugar bombs, abraxo, atom cats, brotherhood of steel, overboss, railroad, institute, and chrome. Uh, we'll eventually get the chrome. It's going to take a while. So we have in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 different types of power armor. Um, one sec. Give me a minute, guys. Okay, and then there's three from Hot Rodder. Uh, so you get Flames, Hot Pink, and Shark. So that's three more right there. So Flames, Hot Pink, and Shark. From having those three. From getting those. Um, and we are going to, by the way, we are going to work towards getting all of them. Do not worry. Um, one sec. Uh, Fallout for power armor paint jobs. There we go. Um, we're going to see what all paint schemes we can get for this. Make sure we have the, enough frames and shit for this. Because, um, yeah. Okay, so we have Brotherhood of Seal, Institute, Minutemen, Hot Rod, Shark. All right, so we have Adam Cat paint. We got the Adam Cats on there, okay? We have Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, there's some contraptions, workshop, power armor paint schemes, I guess. Okay, that's that's what adds in the Sugar Bombs and Abraxo. Okay. So we got those ones. Uh, then there's the Creation Club ones, which is Onyx, Swamp Camo, 
there's more than that, but okay. Uh, the Wikipedia thing needs to be up upgraded or updated. Um, there's Far Harbor paint jobs, which we have uh, Vim and Vim uh, refresh. Then there's the hot rod, the three hot rods, the Institute, Military Minutemen, Nuka Cola, Quantum, Nuka Cola, Railroad, Vault Tech, Winterized Coating. Um, so we do want to do that one on one of them then. Uh, yeah. So 25, it looks like. Fuck, that's a lot of fucking power armor. Tain after complete tradecraft. Uh, let's look at the Brotherhood of Steel paint really quick. Acquisition, there we go. Knight paint scheme. Once the soul survivor has been granted the rank of knight by completing the quest Shadow of Steel, the paint scheme is available for crafting and power armor stations. A full painted set of T60B power armor will also be available aboard the pretty one at the same time. Uh, Paladin, you get for once you become Paladin for completing Blind Betrayal. Um, killing Paladin Dance at the Cambridge Police Station won't allow the player character to loot the armor pieces from his body. It simply doesn't appear on his body when dead. Okay. Sentinel, you get for New Dawn. Um, an Elder. Uh, the only occurrence of the paint scheme is found on Arthur Maxon's power armor during the quest Airship Down. So what's Airship Down? It's an Institute 1... Uh, an institute main quest in Fallout 4 in the quest the Soul Survivor along with an army sent Storm's Boston Airport in an attempt to cripple the Brothers Steel. This is done by hacking Liberty Prime and targeting the Brothers Steel as Chinese communists. Liberty Prime then destroys the Pridman via his dual eye lasers. So Okay. So that's how we get that one. So we do need and we do want to get all of these, by the way. We don't want to just get the first we just we want them all. We want Paladin, Elder, uh, Sentinel, and Knight. Okay, so Shadow of Steel is really far down the line. We're nowhere near that. So let's go do Tradecraft, I guess. Um, Because, yeah, doing Tradecraft will get us the railroad paint. Okay, so... Uh, Knight... 26, 27... Uh, BOS uh, Paladin BOS Sentinel and BOS Elder. Uh, we are siding with the Institute in this, you guys. So, yeah. Um, we can easily do this uh, without any issues. We're going to need Power Armor, though. Um, that's kind of an obvious one. Let's grab my Hellfire, I guess. So this is gonna take quite some time. 20, 20, 28 different things. 28. Mm. Okay, sorry about that. My um my game crashed. Uh so that was um fun. Yeah, my my game crashed as I was coming over here, as I was going to get in my power armor. So there is 28 skins that we need to do for power armor, and we currently have uh Let's quickly check off all the ones we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We currently have eight. Eight fucking skins of 28. We have another 20 fucking skins before we're even done with this. Shit, it's gonna take forever. So currently we have the desert camo, the white, the onyx, the horse, the military, the minutemen, the swamp camo, and the vault tech. Um, we will try our best to make these all on different types of power armor. Um, but yeah, uh, we don't even have the vault tech technically finished. We still need another. We still need a, a left arm for the T45B that we have. Um, and then we have. Once we're done with this, all the power armor will be repaired, by the way. We'll have that all fully repaired and looking nice and all that. Oh my god, it's gonna take so long. 20 power armors. That is our ultimate goal. To have 28 
differently skinned power armors. Um, we know that five of them come from specific quests. The, the Railroad comes from the Railroad specific Tradecraft quest. The Brotherhood of Steel ones all kind of go up. The Knight comes from completing Shadow of Steel. The Paladin comes from doing uh, Blind Betrayal. The Sentinel comes from another mission one. And the Elder comes from the from uh, Airship Down. One sec. Uh, Fallout 4, Brotherhood of Steel, Power Armor, Paint. Alright, let's hope my thing doesn't decide to glitch this time. Right, acquisition. Okay. There we go. Night paint scheme comes from completing Shadow of Steel, which is given by Paladin uh is given by the Pit Boy from uh let's see. Um what's this one? Listen to the radio, Brother Steel Airship Ma uh, after observing a huge brother steel. Okay, this is the one where you go to the this is okay, that's the one where you go to the Pridwin in the first place. So that's how you get the knight. That's how you get the knight power armor skin. Blind Betrayal now is the one where you kill Paladin Dance. Um rank paladin and power armor. Um Speak to Elder Maxon, speak to Quinlan, Halen. Travel the listening post, Bravo. Locate Paladin and speak to him. Um, execute, which you do that you have no choice but to execute him. All that remains is uh, retrieve his things. Report to a Elder Maxon. Um, Paladin Dance is dead. I should return to Elder Maxon and inform him that my mission is complete. Or exit with him alive. I've decided to allow Paladin Dance to live, but he needs to flee the Commonwealth immediately. I should escort him outside the bunker to make sure he's safe. Speak to. Uh, after being confronted by him outside of listening post while I've decided to obey his orders and execute Paladin Dance. Execute him. Maxton kills Dance. Uh, speak to Paladin Dance if he's spared. Paladin Dance is dead. I should speak to Elder Maxton as soon as possible. Speak to Elder Maxton on the prayer when Dance dead or alive. Elder Maxton has agreed to spare Paladin Dance, but he's no longer welcome with the Brotherhood's Dance has decided to set up camp at Listening Post Bravo. I should now return to the program before debriefing. Uh, with Dance's situation resolved, Elder Maxon has promoted me. Okay, so it seems like seems like no matter which way I do it, whether I keep him alive or not, uh, okay, so yeah, no matter what happens, I get the power armor. And that's how you get, um, that's how you get the Paladin paint scheme. Sentinel paint scheme comes from a new dawn. Um, which you get the T60 jetpack and a rank of Sentinel in the BOS uh, and the Brother of Steel. So, other Max has ordered you back to the program for your final debrief and you are awarded the title Sentinel and granted a jetpack for your power armor. Max informs you that quests continue to be available at Cambridge and from Kells. In addition, react to coolant or request from Proctor Um, return to the program and speak to him. Quest complete. Okay, so that one's not very hard. That one's mostly just, um, a talking one. And then acquisition for the last one is airship down, which you find it on his uh, power armor. Um, so you hack the thing, final judgment. Um, yeah, so that one's not gonna be very hard. That one's kind of easy. And you get a weapon too, called final judgment. So we are now going to go do trade craft. Um, we'll go from here, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we know how to now get all of these skins. Holy fucking shit. I want to make that. I'm going to take a picture of this. I don't care how long it takes me to make this. I'm going to find a way to make this. This is another goal. Uh, camera, go the other way, please. No! Okay, I have it on video. I'll come back and look at it in a minute. I can always come back and look at it later if I need to. Damn it. Yagwai. I hear it. Ah, oh, there it is. I love this gun. Have I, have I told you guys that? That I love this fucking gun. Alright. Up. Up, 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 up. Okay. Um... Huh. I'll look where we can find more power armor in this game, by the way. Uh, so I can get some more power, full sets of power armor, not just frames. Um, not that getting the frames is a bad thing, 
you know, having the extra frames is always a good thing, just in case. Um, in case, you know, we can't ever take... Are you fucking shitting me? In case we can't take the, uh... Things with us, you know, in case we can't take the power armor with us. Having the frames, um, comes in handy. However, I would rather like to have, um, the power armor being brought back, power armor-wise. Love how she said I'm dead and then she like immediately dies. Grab those. What the fuck did I just pick up that? Oh, Molotovs. Okay, that's right. I was like, what the fuck did I just pick up that gave me that? I realized my Molotovs. Dog meat. You sexy looking motherfucker. That was weird because that's a dog. They have windmills. Those machine gun turrets are very easy to destroy long range. Like I'm, I suck with this gun long range, um, but I'm. Ve it's very easy to score this to destroy those somehow. Dog, dog meat, get out of my way! You fucking bastard. Um, yeah, there's not much to do here. Okay, onward. Uh, eh, I made it. Like a boss. Like a big, 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 big boss. And you know what? Fuck it. Down we go. You did not last very long, my friend. Hi, Deacon. How you doing, buddy? Hey. Deacon, is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile. Back on. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. I almost didn't recognize it. That's the point. Sure. The railroad's only. Our old base was. It sounds really, really bad. It was a disaster. Uh -huh. Our survivors didn't have time. Right. Let's find it then. We gotta do one thing. We got a tourist nearby. Uh -huh. Now, I'll take care of it. So, the rail side. Symbols we use to send messages. You like that? That's dead drops, even a secret handshake. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Aye, aye, Capitan. I think dog meat fell. Dog me on his way back up here. I don't know for sure, to be honest. Oh, fuck. Too bad. Gotta keep moving, I guess. I hear him. Are you all the way down there, you fucking idiot? Shit! Balls. I fell. God damn it. Deacon, I'll be back up. Don't worry. Yeah, so I think dog me... I think he fell. Or something. Or he was still down here. Oh, there he is. Um, and he like by the mo by the mongrel by the mongrel mutts the, the the wild dogs and uh yeah so I saved him. Where the fuck are you at, you moron? Come on, let's go. Let's go, dipshit. Hey, go get over there. All right, let's go. Come on. Dog meat. Come 
Come on, asshole. Keep walking, dog, dog meat. Hey, over here. Move here. Okay, good. He's following me in. Did you just... Yeah, he definitely fell off. Don't entirely know how, but he's fa he fell off. Do you have a wife? Mine is in the shop. <laughs> is that a gun? Mine is in the shop. Excuse me. Once your friend gets you, how about we have a chat? I will fucking shoot you. Right in your ugly ass face. Okay, well, my game crashed again, you guys. I'm not even fucking joking. Um, so we're just gonna basically, th this episode was already almost over, so it's most likely just gonna be us reloading. Ugh, reloading into this, and the next episode, next episode will be the actual Slocum Joe place attack thing. I'm a bobber, because I just got fucked over. I think it crashed on me again, so. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough time to, to even get towards the start of it. Um, yeah. I don't know why it's crashed so much, but it has. Oh, it's so fucking annoying. Oh, it's so annoying that, like, it. I don't know why it's. I don't know why it keeps crashing, to be honest, but it's annoying. And I hate it. Slowly waiting for this to load. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Crashes and all. I'll see you all in the next one. Stay golden. Peace.